the Joe Rogan experience. Oh my so god! So how'd you get in trouble? What'd you do? So I did that with who? The, so that guy Jen Uger. Oh, he's running for that twenty fifth. Uh, right, dude. What the New York Times did to him was dirty. That was dirt. Who? I shouldn't say the New York Times. I should say that writer. Whoever that writer. It is. was the whole. But the, there was the L.A. Times. See, it was an unbelievable. But the, but the smear New York kid. Times one was the one where they yeah, tried to they say that he was that his that conversation with David Duke, where he was like, "Oh, of course you're not racist." It was as clear as day that he was joking. It's clear as day that he was being sarcastic. And so talking to David fucking Duke, yeah, the d- grand right. wizard of the KKK, and he's like, "Oh, you're not racist. Of course you're not racist." And then they take that and they put it in quotes. He said to David Duke, "Of course, of course you're, you're not, not racist." That's right. So that's that's like Mr. Smith goes to Washington it's shit. It's dirty, but that, I, I couldn't believe that was the New York Times. That hurt. That one hurt because I was like, <laughs> "Who the? Oh, I, you, you think it's funny?" Yes. I'm like, the I New York Times cost- is horrible. Oh, don't they say are that. Horrible. That's all I've got left. You don't. No, no. That's all I got You've got left. me, Joe. I got you. You've got me. You got oh, okay. Kyle Kalinsky. Oh, I do. I do have Kyle. Right? I love Kyle. Yeah, yeah. I I, yeah. I saw you. I saw your interview with Kyle. I love Kyle. I heard the I shit was, you we, said. We were talking yesterday. His, I heard uh, the shit you said. Said good things about you. Oh, Always. did you? I didn't get that far in. Always, I love you. <laughs> I quit after you told him he was your favorite news show. Oh, you're you're my number two. <laughs> oh, thanks. Is that better? I'll take it. <laughs> I think he's the most reasonable of all the political commentators. But you're a comedian, right. And a political commentator. Right. I think you have a you have a dual. So purpose. I have a special. Yeah, category. well, you're funnier than him for sure. Oh, that's the, sweet. That's all I care about. He texted me yesterday. New York City was sixty eight degrees yes he was like what in the fuck is going on but then he's like i feel bad because i feel so happy because like seasonal <laughs> depression you know when it's sunny out and 68 degrees like yeah everything's great meanwhile the world's on fire yeah yeah oh whatever it's warm it is warm yeah no he's great uh, there's, there's that's the beautiful thing about having corrupt and dishonest media is that it opens a door for honest media yeah. like you and independent guys like yourself like Pac-Man, Kalinsky. It's, it's oh, easy. There's, there's it's quite easy. a few. It's easy to yeah. outdo them. And, and MSNBC or CNN or... But that, it really hurts hearing the, the freight from a guy I respect. The New York Times is horrible. That's always been what I trusted. I, I've always Me been, too. I, I know. It was ugh. It was tough. It was tough it, when, I, when I realized that the uh, mainstream news media is just the mouthpiece for the establishment when it really matters. They're for every war. Yeah. They're for every war. They're repeaters. The, how do we get into Iraq? They got uh, Judith Miller to uncritically put the whatever Dick Cheney told her on the front page. That's why they all they have aluminum tubes. Front page of the New York Times, and then Dick Cheney. So Dick Cheney tells Judith Miller they they have aluminum tubes. She prints it on the front page of the New York Times. Dick Cheney then goes on Meet the Press and said, "Look, even the New York Times is reporting this." Oh God! That's how they do it. And then Judith Miller gets a, she gets an on air job on Fox News after that. She got rewarded. There's that, and then there's probably also access to candidates access to top officials it's access like journalism if you don't if you don't give them what they want they don't give you access and this is sort of the game that they've always played right that's exactly right that that they have access and they they i've i've experienced it but what do you think why do you think they want to smear jenk i mean like because I, they see him as an enemy of the democratic party because he she wants to get money out of politics right so that's his big thing he has wolf pack Mm-hmm. And his whole thing is, I don't take corporate money, and that justice Democrats, they don't take corporate. So that's his whole thing. Right. It's about getting money out of, dem- uh, out of politics, and they want to keep money in politics. Because if you get money out of politics, their whole grift is over. 